there, friends. Rebecca here, the Dragon Librarian from Farmington Community Library. And Lala and I are here today to talk to you about a book series that I'm absolutely so in love with. And I can't wait to share it with you guys, too. So it's actually not a new book series. It's been out for a little while, but the newest book just recently came out and I just read it. So I'm so excited about it. So the series that I'm talking about is called The Book Wanderers. By Anna James. Now this is the first book in the series and it's Pages and Company, The Book Wanderers. Now I may have talked about the first book in the series before on these videos way back when I first read it, um, but I want to talk about the whole series as a whole because I think it's just really exciting and amazing and I know that you guys are going to love it too. Because really at its heart it is a book about, well, books. How much more exciting can you get than that? So this is about a young girl named Tilly who lives with her uh, grandparents and they run this really amazing bookstore that she absolutely loves in England. So she has always loved books. She's always loved stories. She's grown up with them, right? Um, her mom is not around. There's a little bit of a mystery about what, where her mom is. Um, the grandparents say that she has passed away, but that may or may not be the case. Well, Tilly discovers that she is able to do this amazing thing called book wander. And that means that she is able to, when she's reading a book and when she decides she wants to do it, she is able to actually transport herself into the book itself and interact with the characters and the story. Is that not the most amazing thing you've ever heard? Just that alone makes me like my head feel like it's going to pop off with, with joy because I would love for that to be real. Can you imagine all the places that you could go if you could actually book wander? You could go to Hogwarts and Harry Potter. You could go to Narnia. You could go to Camp Half-Blood. You could go to all these different places, right? I can't even um, decide which one I would want to go to first. That's a terrible, terrible decision to have to make. Well... Tilly decides that she is going to, to um, you know, ex experiment with this. And she goes into her some of her favorite books, like Anne of Green Gables. She becomes friends with Anne. And she learns that through this process that actually book wandering is not a thing that's specific to her. Book wandering is actually a thing that her whole family does. Her grandparents do it. Her mother used to do it. Um, and she's part of this society of people who book wander. And it's basically readers who form this special connection that can do this. Now, there's all these different laws and regulations and stuff that go into this that she has to learn. Like, one of the biggest things is you have to jump out of the story before you reach the end. Or there could be big problems, right? Once you reach the end papers and you're still in the story you may be stuck there. Now, some stories that might be really cool in, but there's other ones that, I don't know, I wouldn't want to be stuck there at the very end. So, because of this, she's finding out that there is this other secret mystery that has to do with her, with her mother and where her mother actually went. And it's this whole amazing thing. So that is the first book. I do recommend reading the first book in the series before jumping into any of the other ones. The rest of them you can kind of read out of order. Um, but the first one definitely sets the groundwork um, for the rest of the series. Now, books two and three I don't have with me today because they're actually checked out. But the titles of them I will put in the uh, description of this video. So if you do want to click on them and put them on hold, you can do that. I will give you the title though. So the the um, second book in the series is called The Lost Fairy Tales. The third book in the series is called The Map of Stories. And this is the fourth book in the series. Brand new, so exciting, and it's called The Book Smugglers. And again, this is another book about books. This book features uh, very heavily The Wizard of Oz. So if you like The Wizard of Oz, um, as you can see some of the characters from The Wizard of Oz here around the border, right? So in this story, one of the characters from the other books named Milo plays a really big role. So Milo and his uncle r r um, run this train called the Quip which is basically this this train that runs on book magic and imagination. And they are smugglers of books, really rare and, um, you know, books that you can't find very often. So um, so they're doing this. And in the beginning of the story, Tilly, her grandfather has been sent a copy of The Wizard of Oz that has been poisoned and he has fallen into an enchanted sleep. So she has to enable the help of 
uh, Milo and the story train to try to find the cure for him. And oh my gosh, it's so amazing. I love this so much. And not only is this a book about books, which obviously that is the main selling point for me, but it's also a story, um, and not just this book, but all of them really, about friendship, about family, about knowing yourself and your own strengths and really playing to them, right? So knowing what you're really good at, like Tilly is a good reader. She's a good reader. She loves stories and she uses that to her advantage whenever there's a problem. And I love that. That is such an amazing thing. And like I said, it's about friendship too. She meets um, friends along the way, like she's friends with Milo in here. Um, and it's just such an amazing story. Lots of adventure. It basically, um, if you're looking for a story that has a lot of action in it, um, these books do. And I know it might not sound like it because it's a book about books, but there are so much action going on as she's exploring these other worlds and as she faces danger all the time in all these stories. So this is the last book so far in the series that has come out. There definitely will be more. There's a little bit of a cliffhanger at this one. So I'm really looking forward to the next book in the series. But this is book four, The Book Smugglers. And if you're looking to get started, like I said, The Book Wanderers is the very first book in this series by Anna James. It's just, it feels like, it's one of those books that feels like a big warm hug. And I love that. You sit down with this with a big cup of hot chocolate and a cookie and you just will relax and feel so good about this. Wonderful story, The Book Wanderers. So that's the series we wanted to talk to you guys about today. I hope that it sounds really fun and exciting. If so, please feel free to get these books from Farmington Community Library. Please like this video too. Give us a like. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of the day.